Now to the Son of God, Christ, who possessed the fullness of faith, God had granted all things. So when a child, a child of God lacks anything, whose fault is it? If you lack anything and keep lacking for years, whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? If Christ packaged himself with all that he needed for this life and the life to come, you can too package yourself by drinking the spirit to the full. Now over that, God has no mercy. And a woman who to fly at him. Ah. Those are the principles of the kingdom and everyone must abide. abide. Praise the Lord. Yani the things of God is like you are being told. The things that God created and the things in heaven literally are God's. They belong only to God. Only. So you must receive God, the Spirit, in order for you to be brought into possession of those things. Those things. One has a few. They are not yours, they are not mine, they are God's. They belong to God. So you must receive God. Now when you receive God, you are also received by Christ in heaven. You are received by Christ in heaven, so that you are Christ and you are God. Yeah. Then you can now own the things of God. Now to the Son of God, that is Christ, who possessed the fullness of faith, God had granted all things. The God must come. And He is coming into this ministry. Amen. He must come on a rooftop. Amen. This time He must. One has a few. Amen. This time, we are not waiting. We are bringing Him. One has a few. Amen. To the Son of God, Christ, who possessed the fullness of faith, God had granted all things. You can't. It is laziness. It's queer. You are told everything is here on this roof. Everything that is troubling everybody on earth is here on this roof. The price of going there is paining of your knees. And then you let the whole earth and you continue to be troubled. Slessness is queer. What has the fuel? Somebody must say, I am here to be counted. And I am. And I want you to say the same. Amen. What has the fuel? Amen. We must be there to be count counted. To go up there and bring it yes. down. Amen. What has the fuel? It must come down. Amen. It must be witnessed here. Amen. All that God has ordained <laughs> over the church must be seen here. Amen. In this realm where things are seen by this house. Amen. It must be seen here. Amen. Whether it will take death or life, one has a few. Amen. Come on, please, the Lord. Amen. To the Son of God, who possessed the fullness of faith, God had granted all things. You cannot possess faith. And to the message you possess faith, you still lack anything. No. There is no lack in faith. There is no lack in sonship. God cannot lack anything. God does not lack anything. Anything because sonship is God. He does it. One has a few. And God is like saying, My world and everything there that I created has been stolen by the devil. Bring me from heaven to deliver that world. Bring me from heaven to that world to deliver it. And I will give it to you. I'll give it to your possessor. Yes. See, that's what he said. Now every 
son of God who does so, it is truly given to their possession. The only way when the price you must pay for God to give you the earth and its fullness, it is to bring him down here to deliver the heart, to deliver the world. And the measure of the world you have brought him to deliver, he says that is yours. Because that measure you are here, you are here, you are here born as a few. You are? things to himself and to his son by making them a new, a new creation. I'm saying God gains all things to himself and to his son by making them, those things, a new creation. God gains all things to himself and to his son by making them a nuclear. For to the new creation, that is the son, belongs those things that have been made new creations in the spirit of truth in that material mercy of the son. For to the new creation, that is the son, belongs those things that have been made new creations in the spirit of truth in that material vessel of the Son. For to the new creation, Son, belongs those things that have been made new creations in the spirit of truth in that material vessel of the Son. Yet at the new birth we are made new creations. Amen. But that new creation is reality to the measure of the spirit. Now we are saying the only things that are our sons or our gods and our possession of the sons here are the things that have been made into new creations. Are the things that have been made into new creation. Now all things on earth have been made into new creations to the measure there exist sons. To the measure the spirit of sonship exists or not? No. To the measure faith exists or not? No. So are you seeing why the church is poor? Today the church is poor because it is poor in faith. The church is poor because it is poor in faith. Anyone child of God can only be rich with riches that are coming from God. To the measure they are rich in faith. That is why the Bible says, seek ye first the king, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is faith. And then all these things will be added to you to the measure of that faith, measure of that king. God has a few. So, the church here is as rich as the measure their existence to convert the world into the kingdom of God. that he has converted the world by his sonship into the kingdom of God. Of God. One has a few. That is the measure of his faith. Those are your genuine riches that you have not been given by the devil, but by God. The rest is the devil who has given you. The rest are the devil and there are temptations in your life. Praise the Lord. I've said to, for to the new creation all the son belongs those things that have been made new creations in the spirit of truth in that material verse of the Son. So the more the church multiplies here and the grows, those who have multiplied, the more the church gains to themselves the resources of this country. The more they gain themselves the resources of this country. I'm saying the more we throne God over this country, the more we as sons will sit on thrones in this country. Yeah. We shall sit on throne in different areas. Different areas of the economy of this country. Sons of God will sit on thrones there to the measure they are 
betrayed God over this nation. Amen. Today, every senator, nearly every senator is a sinner. Nearly every councillor is a sinner. Nearly every MP is a sinner. Why? Because the church has refused to enthrone God Aye. by going for sonship and a multiplying in terms of sonship. Sonship. So we have no thrones to sit on. But as a view, because if the devil reigns, then the sons of darkness will rule. If God reigns over this country, the sons of God will rule. The God cannot reign with sinners. He cannot reign with the sons of darkness. They don't share the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Where God reigns, any country he reigns with his son. It is the sons who sit on throne. Thrones, one has a few. Come on, praise the Lord. So is it fitting for us to gain this country to God? So that we can make every son in this country sit on a throne. A throne of a great business. Empire. A throne of a great CEO position. Come on. A throne of a great investment that is bringing man to the church. Come on, praise the Lord. Enthrone God and He will enthrone you. Enthrone God and He will leave. Where can I possess a Siombi? The only person I have with the man in my Ah, we move when I do it. Oh, God, who does a man? Now, you speak by your slacking the shit, his prayer. The message you don't want to enthrone God. That is the message you are saying God reaps where He has not. Where He has? Eh, who does a man? 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 Because you are sluggish in prayer. Pray. One has a view. You never cared. If we don't care about sonship or about the existence of sonship in this country, then we don't care about the rulership of God in this country. This country. One has a view. You remember my words. All the words I've shouted here, you're about to remember them. Because anything I've said here, God is about to begin a quick process of fulfilling it. And I'm speaking again to be quoted. And the words like this, don't eliminate them. There. Eliminate what I'm speaking to the church. But what I'm speaking like this is prophetic. Don't eliminate it. It's not yours to remove. One has a few. Remove the rest that I'm speaking about the believers here and the church. And addressing them maybe actually. But when I say things like this, don't remove them. Because I want them to be remembered by someone to gain faith. Faith that God can speak and do. And do one as a few. Come on, praise the Lord. For to the new creation belongs those things that have been made new creations in the spirit of truth. In that material vessel of the Son. Let me ask you something. To the measure we are new creations. To that measure all things are to us new creations. Aye. We convert all that is in our earthly environment into new creations. By us becoming new creations. Not we go there, we want to go there. No, immediately we are new creations. Don't care where you are. The things that are there are new creations. And they belong to you. You are there to rule. You are there as the air and not the time. Come on, praise the Lord. Are you agreeing now? The more we are new creations, the more we throne God and the more we sit on thrones. Because that is what the Bible says, we shall not be the tails, but there? Yes. It's one as a few. Yes. The Bible promises us rulership. Yes. It promises us to sit on throne. yes. thrones. Thrones, one as a few. Yes. Praise the Lord! Yes. Right. I want you to read the new creation. The scripture of new creation. We have read much, but I want us to read again. Praise the Lord. The whole earth and all that there was were already made new creations in the spirit of truth in the material vessel of Christ. The whole earth and all that there was were already made a new creation in the spirit of truth in the material vessel of Christ. The Christ who was the ear walking. The whole earth. They want to say, ah, but the devil was in Capetka. In, Cape, in Cape The devil was in Nazareth. The devil, no. 
Not according to the mind of Christ. Not according to the mind of In the spirit of truth in the material vessel of Christ. They were made new creations in the faith in Christ. In the faith that was in Christ. In the fullness of faith in Christ. For by the fullness of faith of God in the Christ, the mind of Christ was already calling the things that are not on the earth under his fullness as if they were. For by the fullness of faith of God in Christ, the mind of Christ was already calling all the things that are not in the earth under his fullness as if they were. As if they were. Now when you are calling them, then it means you have acquired the ability to put God into work to make them. To put God into work to make? They make them. So they are already made in your mind? Mind. For by the fullness of faith in God, for that by the fullness of faith of God in Christ, the mind of Christ was already calling all the things that are not in the earth under his fullness as if they were. Finally, the presence of Christ in any one earthly environment brought all that existed therein into heaven. And delivered them from the working of the devil by the working of God. The presence of Christ in any one earthly environment brought all that existed therein into heaven. Into? Aye. Did anything exist in the presence of Jesus that is not in the kingdom? Did it? So he brought them into heaven. Our ability to make things into new creations is in our ability to bring all in our earthly environment into the environment of heaven. Into the environment of the king. We are brought into the kingdom we have formed here. We have delivered already. It is out of the hands of the devil and in the hands of God. And what we are putting in the hands of God is in our hands. Is in our hands. Hands born as a few. Praise the Lord. We want to make sons of darkness so poor in this country that everybody will desire to be a son of God. And we can do by multiplying the church, by converting this earthly environment of this nation. Into a new creation. Yes. Come on, into a new creation. Yes. Into the kingdom of God. Oh. By multiplication and the growth of sons. Yes. Sons born as a few. Yes. We will make them poor. Yes. And when they are so poor that there is nothing, there is no throne to sit on. Because all of them are sent on by sons of God. Yes. They will come to church. They will come to church. Born as a few. And look for our way to the throne. What is the way to the throne? Kneeling down and praying the prayer of repair. Praise the Lord. Joining the major because we cannot pick them. Let us join. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today it is a church that is falling off because they are saying the world is the majority. Let us follow. Let us join. We want them to say, 
that they will join us. That it will happen. It is going to happen. Me, I don't say it will happen to watch people make it. I'm saying it will happen because I will make it. I'm out to be counted. Me and you. One as a few. Praise the Lord. So the presence of Christ in any one earthly environment brought all that existed therein into heaven and delivered them from the watching of the dead. The devil. So these things on earth that are fallen are delivered in the mind of God in us. They are delivered to the measure. They are delivered in the mind of God in us. Mind of God in us. One has a few. So the things that are delivered in Lucy are not the things that are delivered in Caleb. Or in Maureen. All of them, they are things that are delivered in their mind. Now those are the things that have been granted to each one of them. Each one of them, one has a few. Praise the Lord! That are the things that you can see for what they are in heaven. They are here. But you are seeing for what they are in heaven. You know what it means? You can make them. Into that you create. You can create the money. You have created the money. I knew in your mind, born as a few. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Let's begin there. Second that scripture is speaking anew. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Is it first Corinthians or second? Second Corinthians 5, 17? Yes. Right. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Wait. To the measure you are in Christ. And you are in Christ. To the measure you are Christ. You are in Christ to the measure you have. You have drunk the spirit of God. To the measure the spirit of Christ makes up the person of the identity of your vessel. That is the measure you are in Christ. One has a few. You are in Christ to the measure you are included. Your material vessel is included in Christ in that. Heaven, one has a few. To the measure you have lost your natural identity into Christ. Christ, one has a few. By drinking the spirit of Christ to become the new person of your material vessel. To become the new person of your material, your material vessel, one has a few. Come on, praise the Lord. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, if anyone has drunk the spirit of Christ, he has become a new creature. So we drink the spirit of Christ to become a new creature, to be created a new, to become the new man, the new new man. One has a few. Praise the Lord! Amen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things Wait. have become... All things! All things are passed away. To the new creation, there exists no fallen thing. To the new creation, there exists no old thing. That new creation you are, to the measure you are new creation, there can be an old thing in any environment. You cannot relate with any old thing to the measure you are new creation. Any old things are out of your early environment to the measure you are new creation. All things belong to the old man. Amen. All things belong to the old man. All things are the fallen creations. They belong to the old man. They belong to the dead. Devil and the old man, one has a few. But new things belong to the new creation. New things belong to the new creation. Because the new creation is God created. Is that kind of God? Is it God? God, one has a few. Praise the Lord. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Yeah. All things have passed away. All things 
things have passed away. That means they don't pass away here. They pass away here. Amen. It is the old mind that relates with the old things. It is the mind of the old man or the old mind that relates with old things. Where there is no old mind, there exists no old things. Amen. Things are created. Things are to us who we are in our mind. All things are to us. Which things? Here. All things here are to us. Who we are in our mind. Everything depends on the environment from where you are letting with them. With them. Relate with them from heaven. The things this week. It is a new creation. It is already a new creation. Creation. One has a few. Because you cannot let with it from heaven without bringing it into heaven. And to the measure you have a new mind, you are forming heaven. So that anything that will relate with that new mind must be brought into heaven. Heaven. One has a few. Amen. You are forming the king. Kingdom. Kingdom. One has a few. Amen. So all things are created. God intends or he creates a new. All the old things. In our mind. In our mind. Our mind of truth. One has a few. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. A new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become. All things are not they will become. They have already become new. Amen. To the Jesus who was walking here, all things were new. Amen. There was no new creation. There was no old creation. Even all men were any? new. New, one as a few. Anybody Jesus met was a new man. A new man was a heritage of Christ. A heritage of the Son. Ah, come on, a heritage of the Son. And so a servant of the Son. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So can we agree? When Jesus ended the wedding feast, everybody there, including the wedding, Became to him a new creation. New creation. One has a few. Everybody, including the one, became to him a new creation. To him. To him. A new creation. One has a few. Can we agree? To the godly, all things are godly.
Your ability to sit on the thrones becomes God's ability. You become as an unlimited as God. So that now your ability to sit on any throne of your desire is God's own ability. Why? Because to enthrone God over your earthly life, you have made your mind the mind of God. You have become the person of God. You have become God who is clothed with flesh. With flesh. What does it feel? The ability of God in flesh here is the ability of God in that. Come on, praise the Lord. If anybody can stop God in heaven, God, uh, that person can stop you as a son. If anyone could stop God in heaven, only that person could stop Christ. But there is none. So none could stop him. Not even death. Even death could not stop him. Did it? Now if death cannot stop him, who can? If death, come on, why are people here? If death could not stop him, who can? What has the view? Praise the Lord! Amen. No one! Now you are there. If you can drink the spirit to that measure, nothing can stop you. Amen. To the measure of drinking the spirit, nothing can stop. So you will exhale. One has a few. You will go gaining to yourself. You have already gained in that mind to yourself all the things that are represented in the spirit of truth in that mind. All the things that you can relate with as a son. A son born as a few. Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. You have gained them to yourself. To the son belongs all things. For the measure is a son. To the son belongs all things. The all things to which he can relate as a son. As a son. I saw. Him. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. It's a new creation. In the left. All things have passed away. Yeah. Behold, all things have become new. They have become new. They have become new. Can you tell God in heaven? Relate with the things in the kingdom of darkness. Can he? Can he? Can he just relate with what the devil is doing? He relates with what he is doing. Because he exists in his heaven. But as a few. Now that's where you exist. By the spirit of God you are drunk. By the mind of God in, you exist in there. Because you are God on net. Nature one has a few. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Second Peter. One, three to four. Second Peter chapter one from verse three. As his divine power has given to us all these that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature. Wait. Answer that. As his divine power has given to us all this. The divine power is in the divine nature. Amen. We are heirs of the divine power. To the measure we possess the divine nature, which is the spirit of truth in us, Amen. which is the mind of God in us. Amen. We possess God's power. To the measure we possess the mind of God. Amen. We possess God's power. To the measure we are God, clothed with flesh. Amen. We possess God's power. To the measure we have drunk the spirit of truth. Truth, truth the spirit of God. God. Praise the Lord. Yes. Now, she begins. His divine power has given us all things. To the measure you are God empowered. You have been granted all things on earth and in heaven. What has the view? So the divine power has given us all things. We lack things to the measure we lack God's power. 
We lack things to the measure we lack God's nature. We lack things to the measure we lack faith. Oh, we are wanting in faith. We lack things to the measure we lack the spirit of truth. You lack everything whose truth is not in your mind. You lack everything whose truth is not your mind. In your mind, one has a few. And you are in possession of everything whose truth is included in the mind of God in it. And you, one has a few. Praise the Lord! As his divine power. So what do you lack? Like? Because you can't pray. Prayerless. Don't want to pray. Don't want the things of God. Car. See that's what. Now anyway, was the point of a That's the idea. One has a few. To touch. To go back to. See the point of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little so we react. One has a few. To be kupati ayo, to be kupati what is necessary. To be kuzaa, kuzaa. Katika kwa mbo kalu, one has a few. To be kupati a license ya kwa namiku, kuchukua yo kitu ya mungu, one has a few. Praise the Lord! Amen. As his divine power has given to us all things yeah. that pertain to life and godliness. Yeah, all things. And I'm making it. This does not know education. No educated or non-educated. This does not know the area of your vocation. One has a few. This does not know man or who? Amen. It is simply anyone who is an heir of that power has been granted all things that God has created here. The fallen realm. One has a few. Amen. To the measure of that power. Power. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Because it is God's power that defeats and nullifies the devil's power. Amen. And these things are under the hands, are in the hands of the devil. The devil, one has a few. Amen. So God's power in us has already nullified Abba, yes. and dethroned the devil's power. Power, power. one has a few. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. To the measure we possess God's power, God is to us enthroned everywhere in our earthly environment. Amen. To the measure we possess God's power, God is to us enthroned everywhere in our earthly env environment. So we can go anywhere and sit on throne. Come on, we can go anywhere and sit on throne. On thrones, one has a few. Amen. We can go anywhere God is enthroned now and become a head. And never the time. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen. Because if God is enthroned, means God Means God is there? Yes. The head, one has a few. Yes. Means God is there? Yes. Means God is the head, one has a few. Yes. Come on, praise the Lord. Yes. A scripture here I want to read. Ephesians 1, 17, 23. See what it is? Yeah. You can read Colossians. Ephesians 1, 73, then Colossians 3, 10 to 11. Read me. And then we'll combine with that and finish. Ephesians 1, 73. Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 17. You can begin Colossians 3. Colossians 3. 10 to 11. Colossians 3, from verse 10. And have put on the new man, yeah. who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Yeah. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, yeah. barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all in all. Christ is all in all. Um, to the measure we are put on the new man. Anywhere we are, Christ is all in all. The Christ who is the person of our mind is to us all in all. In any one other environment we have. What well, has a few? So we 
we exist in our identity in all things that we are dealing with? In our spirit like that? Identity. So that the Christ we are is all you know. So do you agree that Christ was here? He was all in all. Over all that existed on earth. Am I? All in. Now, do you think Christ would be opposed over anything he wants? He's the one in that thing. One has a few. And as you are far. As long as he sends his word, he's the one in that thing. Okay. It will come. The court will come. It will come. One has a few. Malice. And have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Yeah. I put on the new man. And the Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Syrian, slave nor free, but Christ is all in all. Aye, Ephesians 1 17 23. So Christ was all in. And we can also become all in. You know. Now that person who is all in all, can they want anything? Anyway. Even in America, they miss it. They lack it. Because their identity is the one that is always where their, is, their direction has gone. Has gone. Other CV, their identity is the one that has gone there. They are one as a few. When they go to send an application for tender, their identity is already there. They are one as a few. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Do you know why Jesus would heal people afar? Because his identity will go by that word. One as a few. The spirit of healing, who is the spirit of his identity, will go by the word of his history. Will become all you know in all that he has directed. One has a few. All spoken and directed all over. One has a few. Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom. He may give to you the spirit of wisdom is the spirit of truth. The spirit of wisdom is the spirit of truth. That he may give you the spirit of wisdom. Spirit of truth. The same spirit who was in him. In him. And the old man is person. One has a few. Malice the Lord. May give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. Is the spirit of truth. The, wis the spirit of wisdom and the revelation who becomes the knowledge of God in us? Who becomes the knowledge of God in us? That is the spirit of truth. That's why no one knows the Father except the Son. The Son, one has a few. The Son is, is that spirit of the Son. That spirit of revelation. One has a few. And the wisdom? I am a listener. may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened. The eyes of your understanding to the measure the spirit exists in you. The spirit has become the eyes of the understanding of your mind. You have the eyes of the spirit born as a few by which you design God in heaven in the place of all things. All things, so that you make God to exist and be at work in all things. All things, one has a few. And those are the things that you are inheriting. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Finish. The eyes of your understanding yeah. be enlightened. Let me tell you something. My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. You lack knowledge and you can be destroyed. You can be stopped by the devil. It can make you a sinner again. To the measure you lack the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The measure you have not drunk the spirit of truth. Because you will know the truth, the truth will set you free. Which means the measure you have not known the truth. That is the measure you are not yet free. That is the measure the devil can still assess you and destroy you. One has a few. My people.
people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Knowledge here is knowledge of God. Come on, it's knowledge of God. Which is the eyes of the understanding of the spirit in us. In us. The eyes of your understanding. So your sonship, the growth of your sonship guarantees you against destruction. Against the enemies intended to stop. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know that be enlightened because God, who you are drinking, the Spirit of God is light. Is that? He comes to eliminate and replace the darkness that is in your carnal mind. Right. One has a few. So that the eyes of your understanding that were darkened, they are lighted up. They are lighter. Enlightened, one has a few. With those eyes of light, now you can only relate with God over all things. All things, one has a few. And if you are relating with God over anything, then you have already brought God into work in that thing. In that thing, one has a few. And if you have brought God into work, then you are the one at work in that thing. Because in your sonship, you are God. So God is owning that thing, and so you are all. You are owning one as a few. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory? So we convert all things to our ownership by praying to drink the spirit of truth. By praying to drink the spirit of truth. truth. One has a few. You free all things by receiving the truth to be freed. To the measure of receiving the truth to set you free, you have set free all the things that are fallen in the kingdom of God. And you have transferred them. From the kingdom of darkness to heaven. According to you, they are all in there. Heaven born as a few. Ready to be received by you and made you so. You so born as a few. Praise the Lord. It is the fallen things that you have restored back to heaven that you can make you so. Come on. That you can make you so. Praise the Lord. We lack because we lack commitment to prayer. So that we lack the spirit of truth. We become strugglers. Right? Even those who are house girls, you should say no. Are you going just to be house girl forever? So you decide to seek for God. For God to make you what he intended for you. The fact that you never went to school as much cannot hinder God from making you what he intended. One has a few. It can't hinder him. What has the fuel? When it's about God, it's not about natural advantages. No God has natural advantage over another when it's about God. Akuna! Praise the Lord! I want to see my daughters that today they are nothing. How's the girls? Now I'm saying I can't not be here. Helpless forever. God must come and become my help. Now we see one of them. Alegama Dambo and Amungu the Skuma Balage. Mwisho tukute, ameanza green grocery. Where you are can't mind, it comes and it stops. There. As I hear that, Ms. Mama, I'm going to green grocery. Pick up, I'm a car. Bona has a few. Yako, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Now, something. But yeah, let me tell you, come back again. Now we're living. Come on, look at this. I could not. What does it feel? Pesa ingi. What does it feel? That's what I want to see in this church. That's what I want. I want to see the ones on the bottom come to the top. I want, and that's what is a testimony. Testimony is not the ones on top to go on being on top. No, when those on the bottom can come to the top, which is not a language in the world, that is the testimony that really is about God in the child. It's about God in the child. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened. You see, eyes of your understanding are enlightened. It is you made to see and understand God. Now when you see and understand God, you acknowledge what God will do. You will see what God is doing. 
and what God will do? Why not? But as a few, because you are seeing and understanding it with the eyes of the spirit. The spirit, it is only the son who knows the father. The father and only the father knows the son. Come on, praise the Lord. So receive the spirit. Receive the eyes of the understanding. God's eyes of understanding. Understand God. If you understand God, you have put away the devil out of your life completely. Praise the Lord. Because you don't last with knowledge. You can never be destroyed again. Again, because my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Destruction including the devil stealing things from you. But as a few, we are not here to have the devil steal our things. We are here to gain more things from him. But as a few, we are here to gain more things from him. Praise the Lord. Safeguard what you have gained. You have gained already. By safeguarding yourself from backsliding. But move forward and pray more. Drink more spirit. Gain more for God. When you gain the earth more for God, then God grants it to you. What does it feel? Praise the Lord! Amen. And you are not gain unless you see. Amen. You must see the kingdom to enter the kingdom. What does it feel? Amen. When you see the kingdom that is in heaven, you drink the spirit who you are seeing. What does it feel? When you drink the spirit you are seeing, you magnify the kingdom here. You have entered heaven more. You have entered the kingdom more. But as a few, praise the Lord! Because I saw, then I've entered. But as a few, but listen. Now the more I have entered the kingdom, the more I can bring the fallen things, creation, earthly creation, into heaven. Heaven. You can only bring them to the heaven that you are forming here as the king. Kingdom. Now when you bring them into heaven, they are already to you the new creation. New creation, one as a few. They are already to you the new creation. Creation, one as a few. All those things you can bring into the kingdom of your making. They are to you a new creation. So they are your God-given property. Property, one as a few. Praise the Lord! I wonder. The world go for everything through money. And they really toil to get it. Amen. And through hard labor. But we go for things through prayer. And we can't. Without money. We believe them come and buy gold. Without what? See that's the way? Could you know where the Abu Bila Pesa? Could you know the Abu Bila Pesa? You could know the Abu Bila Pesa? One has a few. You could know the Abu Bila Pesa? Come on, you buy gold without money by drinking more spirit. You don't pay money. You pay the price of prayer. Amen. You pay the price of prayer. Amen. And that's what the children of God can do. We must be the laziest on this earth. Amen. We must be the laziest on this earth. I don't get up to the room and be one of the trouble. My million, nine million. Live at two foot and I'm a good TV. I don't have a little more than a moja time. I'm a time I'm a good. I'm a Sons of God are lack diligent. One has a few. Sons of God are lacking that. Diligent. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Man, listen. I, me, I want to be this man. Give me America or I die. Full stop. I mean, it is he gives me this country. Or he clears me from this country. And I mean what I'm saying, I'm not saying upon a show. Jesus. You don't think that because he has no flesh, his eyes are inflated. 
in Jordan, they are related to the basic man. In the wilderness, he's bringing the spirit. Because it's not the pure physical man that sees. The pure physical material that not see. It is the spirit who sees. It is the spirit who sees. It is the life of God in us who sees. Come on, praise the Lord. Open your eyes. Open. Watch your eyes, watch your Is Jesus in Gethsemane not willing to die? Is he not saying, give me that man to become a son or I die? Is he not saying so? This man who is sweating and in blood. Blood, a sinless man. What is he saying? Give me. Give me. I must enthrone you or I die. See you? That should be the attitude. He was our perfect example. Example. Unless you have that attitude, there are things you will never hold. That God has predetermined for you, but you will never own. Everything that God has predetermined for you to have in material takes a measure of the Spirit. That you drink through sacrifice of prayer. Prayer one has a few. Everything. So there are things you will never own. Because you are lazy. You can't pray. One has a few. You forfeit your heritage when you are singing. There is greatness that God has predetermined in His mind for you. Any greatness God has preserved for us in mind comes in us in form of the spirit of truth. In form of the spirit of truth. Which takes the price of prayer. Come on, take the pain of prayer. One has a few. So that is greatness will never have. So let me tell you, you will never have it. Then your children will also never have it. And never have some that you have had. Because you train them yeah, in laziness. Now, your generations will go that way. Until even the little you have is never there in the third generation. That's why all the answer is set less. Now, we should end up in your third generation. I'm all the answer is set less. Yeah, Kitsubu. I love you. Generation Yango, I got that. You got Kazabu, Uko, and the Mung, one has a few. Uko is a Daniel Rumia, Kazabu, and Ataka. I could find your course lucky. One has a few. Praise the Lord! Amen. Your third generation lives in Kibera. The number of people who are in Kibera are in Kibera. They 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 all is about you. Self love. I must sleep. I must eat well. I must be entertained. I must watch for. Who are you entertaining? The man that will be buried here? Why can't you pay the price to be get more, to die as a seed? To be get more that will go to heaven. Be get more spirit like that. Identities that will go to heaven. Right. One has a few. Malice. The eyes of your understanding yeah. being enlightened, be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. That you may know what is the hope. Do you know when those eyes are opened? When they are enlightened, when you are to the measure of the eyes of faith, by them you see to heaven. And you see the hope of his call. You see the hope in the calling is extending. Extending to you. You see the, and that becomes your motivation. Motivation. It is the blind towards God that are prayerless. It is the blind towards God that are hopeless. They are not seeing that hope. So they are prayer. You are blind. The measure you are prayerless. Don't cheat. You are blind. And that is the measure you don't have God. That is the measure you lack the spirit. But as a few, it is spiritual blindness that makes you prayerless. Spiritual blindness makes you prayer. Prayerless. To the measure of the eyes of your the eyes of your understanding are opened, you will have value for God. To the measure you can see God, you will have value for God. And you will pay any price to find God. But the blind, hi. Let me tell you something. It is those who are growing, that are growing in the period of time they spend in prayer. But those who are not growing, they are not increasing in the time they pray. No. Quite much more those who are growing backward. But you are here and you are backsliding. You know, the more far you go, 
the, more, the less you see in heaven. The less you see in heaven. And the less you will pray. Pray. So if you are not growing spiritually, you are also growing backward. In your prayer life, in your prayer fullness, in your praying, you grow backward. Backward. One has a few. Come on, praise the Lord. But if you are growing spiritually, you will grow in your prayer life. Life. If you are growing in your prayer life, then know you are growing spirit. Spiritual, that is the only capital. The only true way of measure is prayer. Prayer. Those who are prayerful today that they were yesterday, they have grown today that they were yesterday. Those who are prayerful this month that they were last month, they have grown this month that they were last month, and they are about to grow more. Praise the Lord. Malice. You have cancelled it today. That you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us. That you know by the leading of the Spirit. You see. And that becomes hope. Now, the Spirit does not lead you beyond the message the Spirit exists in you. It is where you have reached with the Spirit that the Spirit leads you from. The Spirit cannot lead you into a depth that the Spirit in you has not arrived in. It is the measure of the Spirit you have drunk that determines the level of heaven where the Spirit is leading and it determines what you are seeing in that day. Heaven. And so it determines your commitment to prayer. One has a few. Many people you see we are pushing to pray. There are people that are never grow, growing. No growing prayers. Our believers have no commitment to pray. To pray. It is spiritual growth that increases our commitment to pray. To pray. One has a few. And God, you cannot see what He will accomplish before you have found Him. You cannot seek Him. The leading of the Spirit makes you to, to see what God, whom you have not drawn into yourself, can accomplish when He's in heaven. One has a few. When you are seeing that, then the silence of your spirit, you become committed. You begin to be committed. You acquire a capacity. Oh, angry? Angry. One has a few. So when you are, if your prayer life is not increasing, please, you have never grown. No matter how much you shout. No matter how much you shout. One has a few. And if you cannot increase in prayer, can you increase in material? If you can't increase in prayer, that's why you are segregated in that business life. It's just where you are. You are stagnated in that career life. Sometimes even you are walking backward. You are sucked. You are sucked. Sucked. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you are walking backward. The business, instead of growing up, it is growing down. Because you are also growing down. One has a few. We grow in material. Materials are here. We gain them. The way we gain, the more we gain them to God, the more we gain them to ourselves. And we gain them to God by drinking the Spirit of God. God. The Spirit of God is the Spirit of prayer. The Spirit we drink is the Spirit of prayer. The more we drink Him, the more we become prayerful. And what is the exceeding greatness of His power towards us who believe? according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead yeah. and seated him at his right hand. Wait! The same power that raised him from the dead is what we are seeking when we are praying. Come on, when we are doing the Spirit that raised him from the dead. I, are you dead? Do you have a dead condition in any area of your life? Do you have a dead condition in your business life? Do you have a dead condition in your finances? in you in a small way. In the measure of the spirit you have drunk. You can drink more. Amen. You can multiply that power. Amen. Come on. You can raise up your dead situation. Amen. You can resurrect your dead situation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's the genetic area of your life. Can arise and begin living again. And begin growing again. That business can arise and begin growing again. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lord. Amen. That body that has never known body health can arise and I begin celebrating perfect very elder again. Come on, praise the Lord. But it's up, up. It's power. 
and, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places. Far above all principality. Where does it, did he sit him? Now when we are drinking the spirit of Christ, we are ascending and sitting where he is. Where, where is he sitting? Far above all principalities. Far above the devils. Yes. That are the cause of fallenness of this earth. Yes. Of the fallen creation. See you? Yes. Far above. Yes. When we sit far above, then we have already deprived the devil of those things. Yes. That led to our spirit of truth. One has a few. Yes. When we are far above, we are the authority. Yes. We are the learning powers. Yes. We can go for those things that the devil had. had. We can go for the things that the devil had. The hour? Oh. One has a few. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, praise the Lord. Yeah. If the spirit that raised him from the dead be in you, then he will quicken your mortal bodies. Same will quicken your mortal. He will raise you from death. One has a few. Yeah. You are disabled from fruitfulness. To the measure your body is not living. To the measure your body is not living. living. The spirit exists in you that he may give life. To your more trouble and enable more fruit, fruitfulness. The spirit, God is at work with you only to the measure that the spirit has given your body life. Life. One has a few. Only to the measure the spirit has quickened your more trouble. Bodies. That is the measure the spirit has gained that body to operate through it. That is the measure God has gained that body to operate through it. Through. Praise the Lord. See, Mama. Madam, daughter, keep it. Wait a madam. Why wait a madam? Oh, wait a daughter. You're not a madam. Madams are in the office. One has a view. 